everyone, Freelancer Mommy here again to discuss with you go bags. Alam ko sa panahon ngayon, uh, maraming, you know, lindol, baha. Ako, I am victim myself of baha and I want you guys to be prepared. So, let's talk about what we should have in a go bag. So, this one is our essentials kit. If you can see, um... Hindi ito lahat ng panligo, pang toothbrush, and other things that my family needs kapag umaalis kami. So, it's better to have one as well para kapag, you know, may, mayroon kayong uh, out of the door, <laughs> anywhere else, magbe-beach kayo or something, hindi na kayo nag, nag, <laughs> nag, nag, nagmamadali na maghanap ng tools na kailangan nyo. So, ahead of time, gawin nyo na. So, this is what I have. So, meron akong uh, packets dito na which are prepared for anybody who needs it. Kasi, tatlo nga lang kami sa pamilya, but we normally go as a family. So, nandiyan yung mom ko and mga kids. So, I made sure that all I have all of them and it is labeled. So, here it is. So, I have a uh, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and I do have a scrub. And ito siya nakabaliktad. Yan. Yan. Nakabaliktad. It's a scrub. Um, I need to refill this kasi in any case na may mangyari, meron kaming shampoo, conditioner, and a body scrub. If ever. Sana naman hindi. So, Dahil nga sa uso ang dengue, I would really suggest that you have this in your bag. Kasi since you have kids, ako kasi, I have them so that, you know, um, yung kasama ko yung mga bata, mayroon kaming baby, so hindi sila lalamukin. Um, if in any case na mag, you know, out of town kayo, beach or something, Always have aloe vera and uh, sunscreen. So, nandito siya. Um, at sino na ba naman ang ayaw magkuskus ng katawan? So, we also have that. And we also have alcohol in any case. Nakakain sila or anything. And we also have uh, disinfectant hand, hand cream. So, um... A packet back na talagang wala talagang bacteria kasi mga bata nga. And we also have a powder, you know, kasi you wanna look good naman at maayos. Plus, you know, if it's itchy, you can put powder on it yung mga nagsisimulang buong araw. Uh, what else do we have here? Since tatlo lang kami sa pamilya, me, my husband, and my son, we also have brushes. Ito na siya, ready na siya. Toothbrush, toothpaste. So, nandito lang yan nakalagay. And we also have a compressed towel. So, in any case na something happens and we need a towel, meron kami dito sa bag. Ano pa bang meron ako dito? Let me put this back. We also have manzanilla. Yung mga maagang... Mga parents dyan, alam ko anong effect nito sa babies. Kunyari, masakit yung dyan, things like that. We always put them. I know, sinasabi ng iba na it doesn't work, but it does, you know, for kids. Um, what else do we have? Maganda tong bag na to, because there are a lot of things that you can put in it. Um, I don't know where I got this. I think, um, that store that sells you know, small stuff that you can pack away. So, we also have a napkin for ladies na biglang magkakaroon. Uh, tissue paper, nandito na rin in any case. So, if you could see, I placed it in baggies. Kasi nga, kagaya no experience namin na binaha, I always wanna keep things waterproof. So, mahirap na kasi kasi hindi ko ma ex Madi-detail sa inyo yung heartache nung nabaha kami. And rubber bands. You will never know when you will need them. And Lysol wipes. So, nakapack sila individually. So, in any case, somebody needs them. They're ready to use. They're not wet. Um, and maayos mo silang nailalagay dito sa container. So, 
yan yung essentials kit namin. Um, we bring it pag, you know, long drives or going to the beach or something or a hotel. So, ready na yan. Dadampatin ko na lang yan. Alam ko na nandyan na siya. So, ito yung Lysol wipes. We always have this at home. So, in case we're eating, things like that, nandyan lang siya. So, another thing you should have is a first aid kit. So, importante yan. Let's see what we have here. So, matagal ko na itong prepare, kaya hindi ko masyado kabisado ko nung laman. So, Again, waterproof siya ulit kasi nga, kagaya nga nung binaha kami. So, I have gauzes and tape in any case. Saka mga bandages. Nandito siya ang nakastore. Um, gloves. Surgical gloves. Um, para in any case, huwag naman sana that you're gonna need them. Um, but it's better to be prepared. Uh, and then... Compressed towel and tape again. I have it here. Band-aids. What else? I have a whistle. Sana naman wag niyong gamitin. But in any case, nat meron kami dito. So, I want to make sure um, na prepared yung family ko. What else? Um, I have the basics. Panglinis ng sugat. Aguaxinada. And, I also have the itch cream or calamine cream and betadine. Ayan, pack siya. And, scissors and tweezers. In any case, huwag naman sana. Kailanganin nyo. But, it's better to be prepared. Yeah. And, a very safe one. An analgesic or biogesic. Um... Kasi safe yan sa lahat. Even sa buntis. Kaya, yeah, I always have it here. Cotton buds. Yeah, for cleaning wounds. Cleaning your ears. It's there. I do have some applicator sticks. Na sana naman huwag kailanganin. And, gauze pads. Yan. So, I have it here. So, remember to always be prepared. Not only for you, but for your family as well. Um, so I put it here. This kit is, stays in the car. Kasi, um, you'll never know when you're gonna need it. So, nasa kotse lang siya. So, in any case, my emergency, ready na siya sa kotse. So, we we'll leave it sa kotse. Tinanggal ko lang ngayon for this video. But, I have this in the car. So, it's well packaged. In any case na may mangyari sa mga kids, kasi ang kukulit ng mga bata, I have five nephews and nieces. So, it's better to be prepared kaysa magsisi sa huli. Yan. My, my mom taught me that. What else should I show you? Um, always make sure that you have power banks and a cord. Etong cord na to maganda. Uh, I think I got this from Beyond the Box. Meron din naman mga local resellers, but they have three ports. It has a C, an iPhone, and an Android port. So, kahit anong phone nyo, kasi siya. Um, always make sure that you have food stored in your bag. Um, again, biscuits for the kids. Instant soup. So, yeah, I usually not it. Meron din kaming sardines na hindi naka-can. And, I think I have tuna na easy open can. So, in any case na may gusto kumain, ayan, meron kayo. I would also suggest to pack, like, you know, a small sack of rice, lagay nyo sa lumang kaldero, and have it ready. Para in any case na, kung saan man kayo pulutin, I mean, they would have center set. There would be food available. Yeah, and we're back. So, going back, I would also suggest getting coffee. Na nakapack. Kasi, kagaya ko, mahilig ako sa kape. And if you have pets, I do have shadow that I'll show you in my next video. Uh, meron din kaming styrofoam cup. I also have food for my dog. Kasi, mm, bunsong anak ko yun eh. What else do we have? Uh, a water container. 
most likely yung pwede sa buong family. We also have a, an airbed. Ayan, nakapack na siya. It's a resealable bag. Ayan, airbed. So, in case kung saan man kami pulutin sa kotse, we're ready. And we got this Intex, which works for toys. Um, inflatable. So, it's a good buy for a thousand. Good buy din yan. Um, what else? <laughs> a towel. I packed this para in any case, you know, in tissue. Para in any case may mangyari. Ready ako. And I would suggest, you know, rechargeable fans like this one, which I think it produces light as well. Ayan, may ilaw siya. Um, eto, medyo na uso to. So, when kids are hot, you know, sila lang yung nahanginan, pwede mo yung ibigay. And for activities, they can use that. Um, I would also suggest a flashlight and a radio. Yan. Kasi hindi natin malalaman sa dilubyo, radyo na lang yung ways of communication. Um, a rubber band, I also have this. So, what else is there na i-discuss ko sa inyo? Always have the clothes ready. Ayan. I have a huge bag. This has been with us for like four years. And what I did was I packed clothes. Tapos nilalagay ko yung pangalan kung sino yung may-ari. Para hindi makalat pag naghahanap sila. So, I also have a pocket na laundry bag na ready na in any case for dirty stuff. Um, I use the pocket ones. Yan. Marami naman mabibili niyan. And, you know, they have a laundry pouch and things like that. So, it's very useful. Lalo na pag nagpapakayo. Yan. You would place this sa isang part ng bahay nyo na madali nyo na lang dadamputin. Because, again, you'll never know. Um, if you have those shoes na binabalot para hindi mababasa yung paan nyo, okay din yun. Um, let me show you. Ayan. Here's one. Um, it's a Something rounded that you can put your shoes and your foot inside it. Para mulang bacteria. Uh, mahal magpagamot kapag nagkaroon ka ng, um, The one that you get from cat, from rats. Uh, ano ba tawag dun? So, we're always prepared if anything happens. Ayan, I have it packed. Then, kina kausapin nyo na rin yung children nyo. If ever, saan man pupunta, ano mang gagawin, pag ganito yung nangyari, say, bumabaha, akit ba sa second floor, um, dumilindol, do I have to go out of the house and make sure I am in an open space, or, you know, be around the pillar, kasi nga yung triangle effect, that Nandun kayo sa pwesto na may pillar na napakatigas na hindi mabali. Pwede rin yun. Um, since I have kids, masyado akong particular sa mga ganitong bagay. People think it's funny, but it's not kapag nandiyan yung sitwasyon. So, I suggest you create your go bags. So, thanks for watching! Hit the like and subscribe button so you are always going to be updated sa aking new videos.